Here is the handle that I carved. It's 31 inches or about 80 centimeters. It's made of green ash heartwood. So green ash is the species, not the freshness of the wood. And this is it compared to the um, same species, but this is a handle made out of sapwood. So I'm going to do the first test of this slip fit axe. First time I've ever used one, first time I've ever hung one. And I'm going to take it to this elm here instead and uh, see how it performs. I think for dead wood it might be pretty good because the data is still
Okay, so I've given it a try, processed a tree, and um, yeah, I feel like I learned a lot about this kind of axe. So that was interesting. Um, there's a few um, issues with it. The main one is, is it's not very good at splitting, which given the profile, I think anyone could guess ahead of time. But with this seasoned elm, um, it's almost it's almost not worth the effort. It's so hard to split. Um, but I guess that's just a good reason to get to it while it's green. You know, even if you if you want to harvest elm um, that have succumbed to Dutch elm disease or otherwise dying, you know, you've got a limited time window before it gets to be uh, really, really difficult to process the wood. Um, other than that, you know, one of the things that happened while I was trying to split the wood, um, it wasn't, uh, didn't happen while I was bucking or felling the tree is that the head Loose. started to creep up. It was rocking. And so I just kept tapping it down and it went relatively far. And one thing I'm glad that I did was I chamfered the inside of the eye on the top. So on a pole ax, you chamfer the bottom of the eye and on a slip fit ax, um, I just decided to chamfer the top. I don't know if other people do that. I'm guessing they probably do, but uh, it seems to have worked well so that, you know, I was able to just keep tapping this in with just another piece of wood so that now you can see how much it's crept up there. Um, but it's still tight. It's not moving. Um, and unfortunately, I don't actually have that much more room. So one thing I can do is either... Um, make a new handle, which I might do anyway. I might, I think uh, this axe might perform a little better with a shorter handle. This one's 31 inches, it's pretty long. But um, also, you know, it's nice to have two handles with different lengths. So you can, you know, tap the head down and remove it and the handle will still be good. You can use it again. So if I want to keep using the handle and I find that um, I'm actually running out of room. Um, I think what I'll do, try and do, is put a dowel wedge in there. So I think that will probably work to tighten it up if that becomes an issue. Not sure if it will. Um, but yeah, I like it. I'm glad I tried it. Um, I like having it in my repertoire. I think what I want to do is, you know, use it a little bit more, maybe on different kinds of wood get used to it it's very strange feeling you know because it's very bit heavy like it has you know no balance at all when you're actually chopping with it that doesn't actually seem to matter so much but you know I just want to get used to the feel of it um, and not you know render a final verdict on this type of axe right now also you know at some point I'd like to try some more this is um, maybe not the perfect slip fit axe so for example, like I would like a wider cutting edge. And I'm also not sure about having the round eye because that, it didn't end up being a problem, but I just, it just feels like, you know, it might <laughs> spin around and I really don't want that to happen. Um, and in fact, when I was trying to fit uh, the handle, you know, it was, I, I kept trying to keep it at the same orientation and that was actually quite tricky. So um, really a pain actually um, and having like a a more oval or a d-shaped eye um, like on urionetta axes or on some of the french axes or greek axes that i've seen uh, people have um, you know I, I can see the advantage of that i'd like to try that um, but this is the only slip fit act i've come across in my uh, travels locally so, yeah, I was glad to find it um, and glad to try it out. And, uh, yeah, I'll use it some more and, uh, you know, keep thinking about how I like it, what it's good for, and what its advantages and disadvantages are. And maybe um, how I can do better fitting the handle next time.